All right, I don't know how clear this is. Uh, hopefully it's pretty visible. Um, back here, I have a Hamsky string level. This right here, and it's basically got one of these circular levels on it, and I've got the bubble centered. So my string is level center. All right, this is the uh, Hamsky waypoint. I'm fixing to put it on the arrow. And I've got it set 13 sixteenths from the riser, which is center shot for Matthews. And height, I'm not really doing anything with that. All I'm looking for is level on this. And I'm not really looking for level this way, but this way. So I'm going to put this on the arrow. Just run it up here. So they said. You have to be careful because this right here can be canted on the, low, the arrow to, a little bit, so it's not it's keeping it from being perfectly centered. Now I'm going to take my hamski and release my strings. This will allow my hamski rest and works right come up and that's where it's going to be shot from and that hamski rest was tuned at a pro shop so just leaving it as is so I'm going to pull this loose or loosen it back it up so I can see it now see my center shot is not 13 16 I'm going to say it's good Take and pull this down until I have and the rat poison is good. Can you achieve that? That, that you go through the sacramental system. That you get your sins washed away by water. My nurse says water washed away. Now I'm just going to. So they reaffirm imputation way back 100 years ago. And finally, Okay, that's good. So, I'm going to get me a silver sharpie and I'm going to mark my center survey. So, I'm still centered on there. Bring this back up. Writers of the seven volume set started talking about a hundred years ago. Everything they said is happening. It's kind of like the frog in the pot thing, you know, you drop a frog into okay. it just so now uh, I've marked the water and it's fine. where I want the top of that string. Where it is, is my black serving. Get some black serving here. Then carry a big Just entertain them and just, just make them determine and drop it on the floor. Whether it, it needs my felt needs and then you pick it up. Alright, I'm going to tie your twist to it because they can all jump in a different you know, little tube and ride on my mark. To a, a place where there's free drinks and free everything. And, and do they learn true doctrine? I don't know, but they love it. It's all over. I remember when I was in Tulsa, they had. Now, once I go to shooting it, I might have to redo all this again. Uh, once the strings are settled in, that's okay. It really doesn't take that long to do. So you just tie uh, it on both sides of the string. Uh, however many times you want to, it doesn't matter. However big you want to make it. I've done it two. The longer I live, the more alarmed I am. Growing trend of biblical literacy in the last two times, times side, two times this back is the time side. The church attendance while we're reading your Bible. I'm going to tie it on the front side again and, and make a square line. Here's the first time I'm not even knowing the Bible. This time. How bad has it got? Here's, here's Mr. Barna. Less than half of all yeah, the adults who go to church can name a full Bible. This time. Isn't that interesting? A majority of professing Christians. Struggle to identify more than two or three disciples. There's a short knot. Sixty percent of Americans cannot name even five. Forty percent of Americans believe that when Jesus this. was on earth, he committed sin. Don't want to burn your strings. So what's wrong with me? Sin, we sin, we sin. You know, 
it just happens. 50% believe anyone who's generally good and does enough good for others during their life to learn a place in heaven. All right, so that's got my knocking point mark. And I'll take my like uh, 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 And this helps keep, uh, take care of the knock pinch, where your, your knock will get pinched in your Z-loop while you're pulling it. And you just want a bare little bit of space in there. I mean, you don't want a whole lot. I remember four years ago, I learned what makes people feel comfortable. Just a very small gap. Between where you're tying these, some sometimes people just do one. Sometimes they do two. They just do whatever they want. the most sacred moment in the life of the church, where we are holding in our hands pictures of Christ's body and blood. You're supposed to turn and tell them how much your faith will Christ save you. All right, now, this next part is a little bit, uh, of course, drop that on the ground. Uh, some people do it, some people don't do it. I'm trying it. I hadn't been doing it, but I'll try it and see. I'm kind of iffy about it, because I really don't want to get any super glue on my serving, just on these little knots. some on the serving, I don't know. So what they said is we're going to do that. All right. Now, that's got my arrow level in here. So I have my uh, position from my D-loop set. So now I can measure from the bottom of this knot, five and a half inches up. That's where my peep sight goes. And my kisser button is two and a quarter inches down from there. And tying the T loop on. That's, we'll do another video on that. So, alright, thanks for watching.